Y'all remember that video when I spent $6,000 on alternate art cards? It literally took like every single alternate art card. Absolutely insane video. And today, we're doing something crazy again. I got damn near $1,000 in store credit on TCG Player. So as y'all can tell by the ensemble, we're going vintage today, baby. So if y'all like cards like Legendary Collection, Base Set, Jungle, Level X, EX, got it all today, baby. So make sure y'all drop a like on the video, subscribe, and uh, let's hit a quick swiggity swiggity vintage montage, baby. Cue it, cue it. Let's do the montage. Let's go. She's a very kinky girl. The kind you don't take home to my bar. She will never let your spirits down. Once you get her off the only work out the right arm. So arm I use the most. Streets, oh girl. She likes the boys in the band. She says that I'm her all-time favorite. When I make my move to her room, it's the right time. She's never hot to please. Oh no, that girl is pretty wild. No, girl's a super freak. The kind of girl you read about. That girl is pretty kinky. Alright boys, we gotta take this stuff off. I spent all my money on, on these vintage cards, so I can't I can't actually I can't really buy this stuff, but I can I can show you all the vintage cards, so let's go have a look at them. Back in the studio in this little stack of cards right here is the stack that costs a thousand or over a thousand. I can't remember the exact price, but I'll be putting totals of these cards on the screen and stuff. And as you can see right there, we are starting off with a banger and we have some absolute bangers to go over. I'm basically just going to show you all the cards. It's kind of like a show and tell. I've been super, super excited to do this video because I don't know if a lot of y'all know, but I don't really have a vintage collection. I guess I'll leave this up here so y'all can get like a little snippet of what's to come up next. But I don't really have any of a vintage collection, so this is my first time ever really getting into vintage. And I want to know like y'all's favorite cards, what you're trying to collect. Just talk to me in the comments so we can have a conversation about vintage cards and what I should be picking up. But I knew I had to get some legendary collections. So y'all are going to see a lot of these legendary collections throughout the video today. I personally think this is the best foil that Pokemon has ever released. And you know what? Let's, let's announce a little giveaway real quick. Before we get into this, I'm going to be sending, I think, every single one of these cards off to PSA. So if y'all want to put in the word and comment your guesses on every single card of what grades you think they'll get, the person that has the best average score and got the closest on the most grades when they come back, I'll give one of the slabs away in this video. And all of the cards in here are bangers. So it will be worth it if y'all want to do that. I know that's a long one. Just like the video, comment your guesses for every single PSA grade in this pile that we go over and be subscribed to this channel with the bell turned on. So I'll give you all a good look at every single one of these cards so you can have a good guess at the grades. Obviously, I see a little bit of whitening in that top right corner, a little bit of whitening in the top left. I'm also going to be showing you in sleeves because I am grading them and I want to keep them as best as we possibly can. But I think these are going to be crazy, guys. Look at the fireworks on this card. Seeing these in person for the first time when I first ever, this one actually looks really, really freaking good. But seeing these for the first time in person is absolutely mind blowing. And like when you turn them, you can see it right there. It literally looks like a firework is exploding. Legendary collections are definitely, definitely some of my favorite cards ever. Mewtwo EX, I was so happy to get this EX cards from when I was a kid were some of my absolute favorite cards. There is like a tiny little swirl up there. We absolutely love the swirly whirlies. Turning this one around, this one has a good bit of whitening in that top left, some whitening up here in the top right around the edges. This one honestly didn't come that great. Another thing y'all can note as you're watching the video, if you shop on TCG Player, every single one of these cards that I picked up is from TCG Player, and I also picked up every single one of these cards in near mint condition. So some of them come absolutely pristine looking, but like that last Mewtwo, in my opinion, that's not a near mint card, but that's just how some people look at it with vintage. So it's just a side note as a buyer, like if y'all are ever buying on TCG Player, this is kind of what you can expect when you get on the site and pick up some near mint cards. Now granted, if they send you something that's not near mint and it should be and it's just like way off the mark, you can always reach out to the seller and maybe they just made a mistake in sending it. 
but some of these really do come pristine. Uh, I think there's like, there's a few in here, I think that we actually have a chance at potentially getting a PSA 10. And guys, on some of these cards, like a legendary collection, if we were able to grab a PSA 10 on some of these, the value is insane. This is an expensive card right here. The legendary collection magic card. As y'all guys can see, I went crazy on the legendary collection because my personal goal with Pokemon cards right now and what I want the most in my collection is a PSA 10 legendary collection. And I really don't care which one it is. Like if I could pick any card to have, it'd probably be the Charizard, but that's absolutely insanely expensive. And I don't even think there's a lot of the PSA 10 reverse hollow from legendary collections in existence. I definitely see some whitening down here at the bottom. But other than that, this ponytail is looking pretty good. Hopefully y'all can also pick it up on camera. When I turn it this way and you can't really see the fireworks anymore, it gives you a good look at some of the scratching because these are very old cards, guys. They are definitely not gonna be like absolutely perfect even if we want them to be. There's always gonna be some dings on these cards and the scratching is probably one of the most common themes I've seen that even when you buy it near mint, even if there's no whitening, no creases, no nothing, this card actually looks really, really good on the back. I'm I'm not seeing too much whitening there's a small speck down there for sure but not too bad on this one at all i didn't even really see too much scratching again i know it's hard to tell for y'all in the sleeves but hopefully you have an idea so if you are participating in this giveaway you can actually give some good guesses more legendary collections this is actually probably one of my favorite legendary collection cards i picked up the dark war turtle dude he's looking fire in this picture he's looking like he's posted up he's ready for anything and the dark war turtle just looks amazing i love these cards y'all also just gotta let me know for the heck of it which one of these cards is gonna be your favorite in today's video this is a very expensive card right here i think this card was like 140 dollars the alakazam but the purple mixed with the firework hollow pattern looks insane obviously some whitening around the edges definitely ooh, the bottom is looking rough and see this is kind of painful this is kind of painful this card may be a near mint it may not be but it's just painful when you get a near mint and you get like a pristine card versus a near mint and the card just has whitening around all of the edges but i do think that mewtwo ex that we looked at earlier i'm seeing a little bit of what might be a swirl Right here on this left hand side, the glare keeps catching that sleeve, but I thought I, I thought I saw one for a second. Hopefully y'all were able to see that. Can't get it to pop up anymore. But this Mewtwo, even, even something like this, not a very expensive card, I think would be a super, super good addition to the collection. My favorite Pokemon is Mewtwo, so I definitely wanna start picking up some, some big Mewtwo hitters. Quick interruption, this is the first time I'm ever showing these off completely. But we have brand new shiny vert packaging and today is the last day to be one of the first people to get this. Look how insane the packaging looks guys, I'm super excited. Everybody in the comments have absolutely been loving the packaging, saying they can't wait to pick one of these up. But as of right now, there's only one way to get this packaging. If you go to shinyvert.com, you can either sign up for the monthly god pack bundle or the monthly slab pack. Both of them are a huge dub, you literally are just saving money on either one. With the monthly god pack bundle, you you could get this pack this pack and this pack all for $50 with the monthly slab packs we've been sold out of master tiers for like two or three months now I'm trying guys but we have to keep a bunch of master tiers to the side for our monthly slab pack subscribers so if you sign up for them for the monthly slab pack not only do you get this before anybody else but you can also get master tiers when they're out of stock at a cheaper price There's also a mystery option where you could save a ton of money you could get a master tier for like $80 but I appreciate all the feedback on these and if you want to get one first go check out the monthly slab pack and the monthly guide pack bundle back to the vid and there is one coming up in this pile that I think might be the most expensive card we picked up, a Dark Dragonair right here. This is also another very, very expensive card. And this one, this one actually looks really good, guys. This one looks really, really good. This little spec right here, I think, could potentially just be in the sleeve. I don't, I don't remember that being on the card. But other than that, this Dark Dragonair is actually looking really good. I just want like one or two tens back from this whole entire submission. If we could even get one ten, that would be such a huge, huge banger. This is just an unlimited copy right here. Obviously, there's a good bit of scratching on this card. Nothing too, too major, but I love, dude, the hollow pattern on this Vaporeon looks so, so freaking good. Dude, when I'm picking up these singles, it makes me want to buy these packs so, so much more and pull these cards just so I have even more of an attachment to them. Because like I was saying, right now my biggest goal is getting a PSA 10 Legendary Collection. It's not like I can go out and buy a pack of Legendary Collection whenever I want because those packs go for like $1,000 plus, but... 
instead of just buying a PSA 10 legendary collection that's already been graded, already slabbed up, because I can't buy the packs and pull it, I thought I could at least buy the single and then try to earn the 10 myself, just so it makes it a little bit more special. Y'all know what I'm saying? That might just be a me thing, but that's just personally how I feel about it. Because anybody can go out and buy the PSA 10, but at least buying a single and getting it graded, I feel like makes it like even just a tiny bit more special. This Groudon's looking pretty good. I absolutely love this card. I actually remember 100% having both this and the Arceus as a kid. So this is like a blast from the past of nostalgia as well. We're about halfway through the stack. We have another Vaporeon right here. So if you are playing along with the guessing game, make sure you write these down in order. If you haven't been doing that, you can just put second Vaporeon for this one and we'll know which one it came back as but dude, I'm super, super excited to be doing the submission. Also, I don't know if I'm giving every single one of these cards in the submission, but even if I don't, make your guesses on all of them. That way we can still see who was the closest on all the ones we do grade. If I don't grade all of these, it would be like all except for like three or maybe four cards. But the goal as of right now is to be grading every single one of these with PSA. I'm definitely seeing some scratching on this card. Whew, I'm running out of breath here, guys. There's a lot of cards to be looking at. Definitely some whitening around the edges, but I love these cards, man. Even this background with the red, the green, the blues, absolutely insane. But hopefully, hopefully some of these are cards that y'all have never seen before. Like this Pichu, I'm sure a lot of y'all have seen this one. This is an absolutely amazing card. I think this is from what? Neo... Gen? I can't really remember. It might be like Neo Revelation or something. But this is a beautiful, beautiful looking card right here. This one, another card that's not too expensive. Oh, hopefully this is also giving y'all ideas of cards you can pick up for cheap that are older but look absolutely amazing. Like this Latias, I think it was like 20 to 30 bucks absolute steal of a pokemon card right here and i love these delta species type cards so it says delta species up here and you can see that the pokemon when the light hits it the pokemon itself really shines up along with the outer border of the card so these are absolutely sick i remember having one of those Rayquazas as a kid that's why i picked up the latias because well, it's cheaper than the Rayquaza. The Rayquaza is super expensive, but I think they all look good. A little Pidgey Legendary Collection right here. Ooh, this one actually looks really, really, really good around the borders. I'm actually, I feel like I'm not seeing any whitening. There might be a small, really tiny ding up there in the top left. Other than that, the back could be looking really good. How's the scratching? Uh, I know there's a glare, but dude, scratching looks good. Hey, this one, this one, this one could be a top. Oh, I remember what was wrong with this card. So y'all might be seeing it right now. There's either a print line or something. Y'all can let me know what this is in the comments. But there's a, a black line that comes straight down right, right in front of my nail right there. That comes straight down the whole card. And I don't know what that is. Hopefully y'all can see it on the camera. I think it's a print line because I felt the card and you can't feel anything. So I'm guessing it's a print line. But yeah, then we have the other the other Latios right here. So I'll show you both of these together real quick. The Latios and the Latios. They look absolutely amazing together. I love both of these cards. And for the price, I think that's a solid, solid pickup. Oh, let me show you all the back of that. I try to cheese y'all. I try to cheese those of y'all that are guessing right now. So we obviously got a white speck up here in the top left, white speck down there in the bottom left. Uh, I feel like I do see some scratching on this card. And I know I'm not showing y'all completely the whole card, so it makes it hard to guess these grades, but it can be more fun. So as y'all are seeing, as we go through these cards, we're getting down to the end here. Onyx, another legendary collection that somebody, no matter what, if you win this, you're getting one of these cards in a PSA graded slab. That's such a huge freaking dub, guys. All of these cards are dubs. I'm gonna give y'all something cool, and I'm not gonna give you like, if something comes back like a PSA 4, unless all of them do, I'm not gonna give you like the lowest grade we get back either. I wanna give y'all something cool if you get most of these things right. So make sure y'all participate in this, because some of these cards, guys, like a PSA 10 Legendary Collection, if I'm not mistaken, they start at like hundreds and hundreds of dollars and can easily be worth like thousands plus if it's the magic card. Right, we're getting down to it. We got like five or six cards left. A Latias EX, and I know y'all see that right off the bat. A big old ice cream swirl right there in the middle. I love the placement of that swirl. I absolutely love these EX cards so much. Other than the Legendary Collect, well, Legendary Collection is probably my favorite foil of all time, like my favorite time of holo or favorite type of holographic. But these EX cards, like the smaller lowercase ones, are probably 
going out on a limb here they might be my favorite cards of all time just because i remember collecting these so much as a kid another fat swirl over there on the right side of that golem hopefully the camera's picking that up i love the swirls guys and especially when you're buying singles like this where they don't even say if they have swirls on them it's a great great feeling to be getting a swirl on a card even if there is some whitening in the corner so y'all can see that with these vintage cards when i buy modern cards if it's listed as near mint it comes in at near mint every single time like maybe two percent of the time it's not actually near mint but these cards when you're buying vintage guys i will say if you're buying near mint you should probably expect to see some whitening on the card no matter what just because these cards are super super freaking old so like my hope my my hopes were probably too high when i first placed this order oh my god that's a big swirl bruh that looks so freaking good i'm actually giving away one of these on shinybird.com right now a cgc slab of the walrene ex so make sure y'all go check that out let's turn it around though i love these ex cards but my expectations were probably a little bit too high for some of these cards in the condition we would receive them in but nonetheless i'm extremely excited to see what these grades come back as and last but not least guys my favorite card from the entire pile is this Rockets Mewtwo, and it did come with a huge swirl down there. Absolutely love this card so freaking much. And then if we turn it around, how's the condition of this card looking? It's actually looking pretty good, guys. There's, there's obviously a white ding I saw down here. Uh, yeah, there you can see it a little bit better. Probably a little bit of whitening in that top right corner. But looking at it, it looks pretty freaking good. The scratching doesn't look too terrible on it. I'm... I don't know if we'll get the 10 on this one, but I think a nine could be possible. So this is it guys. Look at all these vintage cards that we picked up. Hopefully y'all enjoyed seeing all of them. Let me know your favorite ones. If you played along and tried to guess the PSA grades, you're gonna wanna hit the subscribe button and the bell because when these come back and when the grades come back on them, I will be tagging the person in the comments who got the closest and I will automatically ship you one of these and their PSA slab back. Hopefully y'all enjoyed the video. If you did, please drop a like on it. Make sure y'all go check out this video right here where I asked a bunch of people trivia questions on Pokemon and gave out packs including a shiny vert pack if they got it right. All right boys, see you in the next video. Peace.